So to make a long story short, basically this last week has been nothing but failure. I tried to make a knife. I really did. I tried to make a couple knives. I also tried to make a video. I tried to make a couple videos, but nothing turned out. <laughs> basically what happened was I was going to make this thing, whatever this is. My initial thought was to make some sort of post-apocalyptic hatchet looking thing. And then I started grinding on it only to realize that it looked pretty good as I was grinding. So then I changed directions and decided to make it a nice looking hatchet, which is really what screwed me. Now, I'm not going to go into everything that I did to screw up this blade, but basically I didn't leave enough ricasso to put a handle on this. It doesn't matter. The point is, is that I didn't really make a single, there wasn't a single point in this build process where uh, something went wrong. It was kind of like a, um, a long, drawn out mistake over the course of hours and hours and hours. So essentially all I did this week was waste like $30 worth of ceramic belts and like 15 bucks worth of steel and I didn't get anything done. Anyway, now because heat treating is essentially free other than like 30 bucks worth of electricity to run the oven, I figured I might as well go ahead and heat treat this thing even though it's all scratched up and looks really bad. I don't know why I'm walking around like this. Then I'll bring it back uh, after heat treating, put a quick edge on it and take it out and do some edge retention testing. You know, that's the thing. You know, every time you screw up a blade, uh, my suggestion is to just go ahead and heat treat it and use it as a testing blade. That's one nice thing about being a knife maker is that you get to destroy knives. Uh, knives that would otherwise would have been really good knives. Because a mime is a terrible thing to waste. So I'm gonna do three normalization cycles on this. Uh, first one's gonna be 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. Second one's gonna be 1450 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the last one's gonna be a 1200 degree uh, subcritical stress relieving cycle. There, now we can uh, paracord wrap the handle if we want to. Maybe I'll drill another hole down here. Looking for my countersink bit, which is here somewhere. Where'd you go? Spend more time looking for stuff. Just great. Where's my counter? I have two of them. There it is. Do this quickly as possible. Come on, come on. All right, 1600 degrees. Oh yeah, that's hot. And we'll let this cool. Oh, that's hot. My tiny shop's a mess. All right, put this back in at 1200. 1200 degrees, last cycle. Oh, this thing's so hot. Yeah, why don't you uh, rotate it there so the camera can see. Great. Now I'm gonna take us up to the kitchen oven and we'll do two two hour temper cycles at uh, 400 degrees or so and the idea here is to not let this cool off below about 120 degrees um, if it does it's not that big a deal we'll take us up throw it in the oven and then uh we'll be good we'll be back down here grinding away so there's our bleed whoa that's hot there's a bleed in the oven we got uh two cycles at 400 degrees for two hours each cycle so uh change of plans i did two one hour cycles because let's be honest in a post-apocalyptic world who's got time for two two hour cycles just see what happens kind of nervous I'm scared now time to grind
Yeah, it's uh, it's sharp. Now I'm gonna die because uh, it's a post-apocalyptic world and I don't have a band-aid. Ow! Well, I think that uh, answers the question of whether or not it's sharp. Oh, I got a boo-boo. I gotta go home now. Actually, my camera battery is about to die. Now I have to make a uh, paper towel band-aid because I don't have any band-aids. You little, little sharp chopper, you. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty sharp. Let's just wrap this up a, a little bit. Now the question is, what do we do with a handle? Because I can't find any paracord. I do happen to have this. I just found it laying around. I don't even know why I have this. Oh, found a tiny bit. I mean, if I can find another piece, because in a post-apocalyptic world, if a sun flare comes down and knocks out the entire power grid to all of humanity, gotta have our paracord. I might have another piece up at the house. Let me go check. All right, went up to the house. And I was able to find some uh, more cord. I also got myself a proper bandage to heal my owie. I don't really have enough to do this proper, but I'm gonna make it work because it's a tough world out there. Basically, all I'm doing here is just wrapping paracord around the handle because it's supposed to storm in like an hour and I want to finish this video. Oh, that's actually not too bad. I mean, that's actually pretty comfortable. Take the sheath off very carefully. Does that not look like something? I mean, if someone was carrying this, you'd want to stay far, far away from them. What have I made? Actually, I think it, I think it turned out better like this than it would have if I would have like really finished it. Oh my goodness. Look at the, look at that cut. That is, uh, that sharp. This is something you can try at home. Go try and slice a paper towel with a nice clean cut. <gasps> wow. I didn't even hit it that hard. <gasps> all right, all right. Let's, uh, let's regroup here. Yeah, that pretty much just went over and hit the crap out of my truck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? I don't even think I hit it. So I'm discovering that I think it needs a better handle. Rain, rain. We literally made it back right as it started. Look at this. Well guys, that pretty much concludes the post-apocalyptic chopper build. Post-apocalyptic chopper build, it's hard to say. And to be quite honest, the more I look at this thing, the more I realize that I probably could have made it just as fast, if not faster, with an angle grinder. So maybe that's what we'll do in the next video is make a second one. Because what would be better than having one? Just having two. That's dangerous. We'll make a second one with an angle grinder. Maybe heat treat it in a grill or something like that campfire with a hair dryer good times not sure if it's going to be the next video but it'll be in a video pretty soon so if you don't want to miss that don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the like button and comment i don't care what you comment just say how you doing how you doing and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching don't forget to like the video now i'm gonna do that really creepy cover the lens thing with my band-aid hand <laughs>